sorry for surely i surely already find out the solution now right so see here um this is the f like fans that already have the uv map already done okay it's called p cube one and then you have the clone one which uh, just like not complete right so how do we transfer the attribute so basically you have to put the clone to the source the original like really on top of each other like this okay so what i have done is see the coordinate here is zero 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 and this one have a value so what i do is i just put it zero make sure it's on top of each other okay and now uh, you need to select the model before you apply the the transfer attribute you need to make sure you select the order properly okay like which one you select first and then the second one okay so you can use the outliner all right the windows outliner to actually uh, select them but pq1 pq2 so how how do you select is you select the source the source is the the one that is already done which is the pq1 select this and then select the target the target is always the last selection p cube 2 control shift p cube 2 all right so now so it confirmed that p cube 2 is the last that i select so i go to the mesh all right and then uh, check the transfer attributes so if you click here just uh, i'm going to reset the settings uh, just reset right now the important thing that you want to make sure that if it works all right the, the rest here is should be fine uh, uv sets to transfer uv sets make sure yes all is correct but the one that you need to change is the sample space the world don't set to world set to local which means the local object space not the world not the entire space here okay so you change this one then it should work so if i hit transfer now ta -da, right when i click on the p cube 2 and I transfer and I move it aside you see it has both have the same UV now that answers your questions hope you're happy now another way that you can do uh, by using the the transfer attribute is that um, you there's another setting that you can do uh, I mean you can do it in a different way so I'm gonna show you how to do that so let's say hmm this is the original one okay so uh, if i open my outliner here uh, you'll see a p cube one and then a p cube two is the the unfinished one and p cube one is already being uh, uv unfold All right so how do i transfer this uv to this one in another different version uh, it more different than what i show you just just now so um to do that um First, you need to the selection is still the same. You need to select the the source first, uh, but uh, and then you uh, control shift and select the the target. All right, the P cube two. So P cube two is highlighted in green wireframe. Uh, and a different method for this one, you don't actually have to bring the the the, the target to the same location as the the original one see they are both in two different places right unlike the the other the, the first uh the first suggestion just now so then i go to the mesh transfer attributes options right so we're gonna reset this now um this is fine and now the difference is that instead of using world or local that we, we use local just now so what we're going to do is we're going to use component all right and the rest is all just leave it as default so when you hit transfer all right now let's see what we get original source the uh the clone one now have the same uv see that they both have the same uv so these are the two types two two methods that you can uh you know, uh, a two approach that you can use. Alright. So, hope you like this tutorial. And I see you around. Bye bye.